What's up, people? Andrew Murray here, and uh, I have my beautiful wife, Marie Torres. Hey, and guys. And uh, welcome to another edition of 10-Minute Metamorphosis. This edition, we're going to be talking about the F word. <laughs> focus. Okay. So the power of focus. Um, I'm going to tell you a little story. When Andrew and I, back in about 2005, we actually coached. We did some coaching with the coach of all internet marketers, Rich Sheffron. Okay, so we did some coaching with Rich Sheffron. And the reason we did that is because we wanted to take our business to the next level. Okay, and I remember we when we were talking to him, we said we were really excited. We had a lot of different projects on the go. So we said, well, Rich, we're doing this and we're doing that and we're really excited about this and we're about to launch that. And he said, you know what, Andrew Marie, take it back a little bit, okay? I want to explain something to you and I'm going to show you something. It's a really, really simple diagram, okay? Simple diagram. But um, what it will show you will be extremely powerful and it will change the way you do business. So what he started to do, what he proceeded to do was he put these squares up, okay? And he said, most people, like you just mentioned, most people do Project A, okay? They do Project B and they do Project C and they do it again, A, B, C. Okay, and he says this is the way people go about building their businesses. Okay, and he said this is crazy. This is like multitasking. This is like splitting your focus. And what ends up happening is after three weeks, for example, if you say that this is each a week, you know, you have not yet finished either A, B, or C, right? So it's like nine weeks. Right. Each. Each thing would be like a week. Exactly. But people actually do that over a day and it's just, I mean. Whether you do it over, you know, a day, a week, whatever it is, what he was saying to us is to be absolutely way more efficient. What you need to do is something. Stop being so crazy. Yeah, stop being so crazy and dial it down and really concentrate on one project at a time, right? So instead of that diagram, he said, this is what you want to be doing. You want to be doing A. A, A. At the end of three weeks, you're done. You're done with project A, okay? Done. So that can already be running for you. Then what do you do? You go back and you do project B, obviously. And you see where this is going, right? Um, done with B. Another project running, another thing that you can be marketing, and then obviously C. So here we go. And the thing is this, right? The things that you concentrate on bring you the most rewards. And so in order to run a business like this is way more efficient and will get you way more results than what we showed you at first. Yeah, because you actually have Project A done in, in the first week, whereas in the other one, it's probably not done at all, even after nine weeks, okay? And it's very important people understand, you know, when you're in internet marketing, you know, that the timing is very important. You know, money money loves speed. So if you can do something quicker and make that project pay and create income from it, you know, that's going to be able to fund a lot of your, um, you know, your, your, your other stuff and really, you know, propel more net profits into your business. Right. I love that. Money loves speed. And so, um, you know, the, the problem is, is that most people get distracted. You know, they, they're in one company and then they see something else. You know, they're concentrating on one thing and then they see an email come in and they get distracted with that. And so what you really need to do is you really need to harness the power of focus. You know, it's so important to be able to do that because if you think about it, I mean, really sit down for a minute and think about what your day like looks like. You know, we go from one thing to another. We check email first thing. Wrong you know, um, wrong you know. thing to do. And actually it was one of the things that we decided not to do when we started to become much more efficient in our business. And I don't actually remember who told us to do that. Do you remember that? Well, I, I don't know, but you know, the, the point about it is, you know, when you check your email, you're basically starting your day from a reactionary uh, position, you know? So for example, you're opening your email, you're going to look at, at, you know, what's, what's going on. Um, you know, maybe you're going to start, you know, putting out fires or maybe you're going to see this, 
this this email that you know just has this crazy subject line. You open it and then you click on something and and you know 20 minutes later you're reading a sales page going through an order button for some you know uh, plugin or or you know some information product. Whereas if you were to you know kind of really know your business and and really be focused on that one important thing, that one important project that's moving your business forward, and then know what that is. So you know the most important things for you to, to focus on when you get to your computer in the morning, you know, um, or in, in you know whenever you whenever you uh, you do your internet marketing. But for me, it's in the morning. Right, and so you know, if you get one thing from this particular episode, if you will, it's that you really want to know what you want to be focusing on. And you really want to just go ahead and execute that. Because in order, I mean, again, you just want to be able to finish that project, get that done, move that out of the way. One of the most important um, exercises that we ever did um, when we actually complete projects is we write out all of the tasks that need to be done for that project. And Andrew and I literally for three days will blitz through a project and get it done one by one by one by one. And the thing is, when we do it that way, we get so much more more accomplished. You know, I know from our perspective, we obviously have lots of projects on the go. We work with a lot of people. We've put out a lot of products. And yet, you know, the way we work at them is always the same. You know, we come in, we know exactly what we're doing, and we work to get it done as quickly as possible because that's where the momentum is, right? And so it's, you know, focus, momentum, and like Andrew said, money loves speed. So if you're looking at your own business and you recognize that you have fallen victim to this idea Idea of working so many different things, either because you want to get, you know, you want to um, put out a lot of different products, you want to figure out what works, you want to figure out what sticks, you know, take a step back and remember that diagram that we showed you with A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 because you will find that you'll get a much greater sense of accomplishment from doing and running your business that way. The other thing that I want to uh, add in here is really about multitasking. Multitasking is the worst thing that you can do because, you know, here's the thing. Here, here's, here's the big lie about multitasking. You know, if you're multitasking like you're chewing gum and talking on the phone at the same time, that's fine because both of those things are not important. But anything that's important, anything that, that's actually, um, you know, requires thought, anything that's actually going to move your business forward to create more money, okay, you can't multitask at. Okay, so you can multitask if you're if you're scanning your newsfeed and you're doing things that are like, you know, you know, don't really require your 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 thought and your focused attention. But, you know, if you're doing, let's say, putting together a, a PowerPoint presentation or, or or some kind of plan or you're working on specific tasks, you know, you can't do multitasking. The other thing is um, you know, I, I, I want you to really see your business and, and, you know, think about, think about, you know, the principle of minimalism, you know, less is more. So when you reduce the number of things that you have in your business, you know, maybe you're in too many opportunities, you know, and, and you need to, and you need to reduce that because you don't have enough time to properly focus on the, the one or two or even three that are going to make you money. Right. So, you know, because when you split your focus, it's not like a one to one relationship where, you know, you 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 kind of drop one one project and and, and you have, you know, um, just a little bit more time. It's actually an exponential, you know, growth that you get in your business. So, you know, look at at your business right now. Where is your focus? You know, do you have focus? Do you know what what programs that, that you're doing and you know, what you're focused on, what projects are really bringing in money or can bring in money in the next, you know, two weeks, you know, to a month. Reflect on your business, reflect on your situation, and really think about that. Are you multitasking too much? Right. And and once you do that and you take stock of where your business is right now, you'll be able to deduce from that what is important, what you need to focus on, and what will get you the most results. So with that said, do not multitask. Focus. Remember this diagram and reflect on your business. And remember, the alphabet goes A-A-A. 
B B B C C C. Don't let those schools fool you, folks. Ten minutes. You know, take the time right now mm. to look in, at your business and write a list of what you can focus on and you know define your most important things. Go at it. Do it right now. We'll see you in the next one.